Welcome back to another episode of Easy Peasy Labeling with me, Melissa. Today I am with the LWPX 900 and the LWPX 700, and we're going to talk about the differences between these two models. Now they do look very similar, but there's some key differences that might help you decide which one is the better fit for your needs. So let's take a look. Now before we talk about the differences between these two printers, let's talk about the similarities. Now both printers have a very similar user interface, super easy to use. They both offer the optional full and half cut settings. Both have the same industry specific hotkeys and both printers are PC compatible with our label editor software. Both printers offer the same symbols library, barcodes and QR codes, and sequencing features. Both printers are also Energy Star certified. And of course, they both offer that unmatched lifetime warranty. Now let's talk about the differences between the LWPX 700 and the LWPX 900. The 700 has a 180 DPI resolution. The 900 has a 360 DPI resolution. Now when we're talking about adhesive back and magnetic supplies, the 700 can print on supplies up to one inch and the 900 can print up to one and a half inch. If we're talking heat shrink tube, the 700 can print up to 9 sixteenths and the 900 can print up to 7 eighths. Similarly, with the self-laminating tapes, the 700 can print up to one inch and the 900 can print up to one and a half inch on the self-laminating tapes. Now both printers have the capability where you can create labels in the label editor software and transfer them to the standalone printers, but there's some differences. So the 700, you can transfer five image files and up to 50 non-image label files. Now the 900, you can transfer up to 99 non-image label files. Now another difference is the 900 has had a couple of firmware updates. So we've added things like line swap, we've added more functionality to some of the industry specific hotkeys like wraps. So if that's something specifically that you're going to be using, my recommendation would be on the 900. The 700 is a great model and it's wonderful for some of those basic cable and wire labeling. But if you have some of those advanced features, that's where the 900 900 might be a little better for you. If you have questions on the 700, the 900, or how they may fit with your specific needs, please feel free to reach out. We would love to chat with you. Thanks again and happy labeling.